We live in the cul-de-sac down to the next coffee shop. I was being sad. Yeah? What a coincidence. That's where we live, too. Small world. Yeah, Daisy and I are in that little ranch-style house on the corner. I know that house. It's just like ours, but slightly bigger and better landscaped. Does this guy have to outdo me at everything? What a lovely place. <laughs> well, I don't want to take up any more of your time. Really nice meeting you guys. You'll have to stop by at some point. Fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Bye. Brian and Daisy walk further into the park with Maxwell, happily trotting along in tow. Do you get the feeling that he was trying to one-up us? They're booing us because we lost the Poke Daddy battle. Trying and succeeding? I can't believe the kid's only ten. What was I even doing at her age? Uh, I believe you had a bit of a thing for horses. <laughs> Shame that didn't pan out. Could have majored in comparative horse studies. It's not too late to minor in horse creative writing. <laughs> too close to the truth, Dad. Ugh. Let us never again speak of the fantastic adventures of Sir Horsington the Brave, an epic seven parts by Amanda Bizzle. <laughs> Bizzle. <laughs> We laugh off the horse epic and walk around the park a bit more, enjoying the day. <laughs> Let's go unpack. We should head home. I'm going to need four hours minimum to figure out how to build my new bed, and I'd like to not have to sleep on the floor tonight. Liquor before beef, you're in the clear. <laughs> I get to work unpacking the various boxes around the living room. A cup. What? Horse fanfic. Uh... I get to work and packing various boxes around the living room. A couple hours pass, and I and I get some good work done. The washer dryer unit is both washing and drying, and we can actually walk through the living room without tripping over boxes. <gasps> First visitor already. Mm -hmm. I walk over to the door and open it. Hello. Oh. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of this one, <laughs> but oh. I do like his arms. A handsome, clean-cut man stands at my door. Branching a plate of cookies. Hello? Whoa. <laughs> oh, that's Aaron's voice. <laughs> oh, where are my manners? My name's Joseph. I'm your next door neighbor. Oh, yes! Hi, I'm Booze. That's what my name is. Oh. I saw the moving van and thought I'd bring over some cookies. My daughter, Christy, wanted me to let you know she baked them herself. Joseph leans in and whispers. Oh. <laughs> God damn it. But between do, you and me, she do, just sprinkled in the chocolate chips. Do do, the cookies have Viagra in them. <laughs> and roofies. Oh. That's quite the combination. <laughs> <laughs> Rufagras. Oh, God. It got yeah. crossed out. Yeah, it got crossed out because there's a word in there that shouldn't be in there. Yeah. Roofies? Cookies. It. Yeah. <laughs> Night Turbo. Night Turbo. Between you and me, she just sprinkled in the chocolate chips. <laughs> we both share a laugh. Kids, right? Yeah. Wow, cookies, huh? So nice to meet you. Joseph hands her the plate of cookies with a smile. Huh. Well, thanks for the cookies. Ooh, cracker. <laughs> Crackers. Amanda disappears with the cookies. Uh. Amanda, come back. And she's gone. <laughs> That's my daughter. Her name is Amanda. She's a charmer. Oh. Daughters are tough. Sons are also tough. Oh. Children in general are just tough. I hear that. I mean, there'd have to be something wrong with you to try to raise more than two. Uh. I have four kids. What have you done? <laughs> oh, uh... I meant... <laughs> Don't worry. You didn't mean to be rude. Oh, no. This is the first neighbor I've met, and my social life is already in a tailspin. I wonder if it's too late to move again? Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Is the missus around? Mister, actually, and, er... Uh, no, not anymore. <laughs> he died. This is, this is just... This is great. <laughs> Oh, uh, 
sorry for your loss. No, no, it, it's all right. Wow, this is uncomfortable. We stand there quietly for a moment, acutely aware of how awkward we both made things. Mm. I'm sorry, can you close the door real quick? I look at Joseph quizzically, but comply. After a second, I hear a knock on the door. Opening it, I see Joseph standing there with a huge smile. Oh. Hey, I'm your new neighbor, Joseph. I promise not to talk about your dead spouse this time. I'm throwing a barbecue for the cul-de-sac, and I'd love for you to come by, meet the rest of the neighbors in our community. What do you say, pal? The cookies have kicked in! <laughs> that sounds great! My daughter Amanda and I would love to stop by. <laughs> Also, four kids is a perfectly normal amount of children to have. <laughs> we shake hands and seal the deal. Hey. Well, neighbor, I'll see you at 3 p.m. sharp on Saturday. Sure thing, neighbor. Joseph starts walking away, but stops to think for a second and turns around. Yeah. Hey, in all seriousness, raising a kid on your own can't be easy. If you ever need to talk about stuff, I'm the youth minister at a church down the street. What is a youth minister doing giving out Viagra cookies? God! With roofies in them. <laughs> Continue! <laughs> oh! I don't know, I wouldn't really consider myself a youth. <laughs> you look pretty young to me. Let's suit yourself. And with that, Joseph's gone. God. Fuck. This is it! Viagra cookies were invented by the government to... Control mass the media youth. marketing and uh, cause you to buy Justin Bieber perfume so that you can one day hope to be. And with that, Joseph's gone. He seemed nice. Oh, that's you. He seemed, he seemed nice. nice. Amanda walks back into the living room, crumbs on her face, and cookie in hand. That was the smoothest recovery I've ever seen. I should be taking notes. See? You're already fitting in great. Where'd those cookies go? They're gone. I'm sorry. <laughs> you mean Misfit says he's totally not a cult leader. <laughs> yes. If it makes you feel any better, they weren't very good. So you ate all of them anyway? Huh. I guess that makes it break time. Any ideas? Joseph probably wants his plate back. Why would it be an option? Just continue the story. I think we get a ton of good neighborhood points if we bring this back. <laughs> We're gonna be the best neighbors in this whole cul-de-sac. Uh. <laughs> We're gonna kick all the other neighbors' butts. With kindness. Amanda and I step outside. Oh. Shoot, I'm actually not sure which house is his. Hmm. I'd hazard it. Oh, sorry. It's the big one with all the well-groomed blonde children sitting in the yard. Ooh. Good eye, kid. And remember, we need to make a positive first impression here. Keep it light. I know we lost the Poker Daddy battle. I'm sorry. We walk up to the kids and wave. <gasps> There's an anchor on the house. <laughs> hey, guys, is your dad around? Those are children of the corn kids, if I've ever seen any. Wow. Come join us. They all just stare at us blankly. Fucking children of the corn, exactly. <laughs> we just wanted to, uh, return this nice plate and thank you for the cookies. <laughs> Jeez, these definitely are Joseph's kids. They all look exactly like him. <laughs> they were really good. I mean... I heard they were good. I didn't get to eat any. Chris, Christy, I, Christian? I, I chuckle nervously. Hmm. Well, okay, we're just going to set this place down on the ground, real gentle, and then back away slowly. Right, Dad? Right. That's what we're going to do. The kids' eyes bore into us as we scurry away. I can feel their gaze on my back even as we approach our house. They all ate Viagra cookies. <laughs> Run. <laughs> <laughs> I need something to get my mind off those carbon copy kids. I need to rest my eyes. Mm -hmm. You've been awake for what, three hours? And that's three hours too many. <laughs> so 
So I Practice think makes permanent. Mm. As we're walking home, I hear heavy footsteps come up behind us. <laughs> You ate all the cookies, excellent. The vessels are prepared. Father, prepare the altar. <laughs> Come, Come this way, way for the barbecue. <laughs> Booze, bro! Hey. I turn around and I'm greeted by a familiar face jogging up to us. That's a cute baby. Craig? Oh. Bro. Bro. Oh. Holy, Holy wow. I haven't seen Craig in forever. Oh, whoops. It's been too long, dude. Yeah, wow, you look great. Dang. <laughs> yeah, I cleaned up my act. He does look pretty damn good. <laughs> cleaned up his act? Are you kidding me? He's ripped. <laughs> Amanda, this is my friend Craig. We went to college together. We were roommates for a while, too. <laughs> Amanda, dude, you probably don't remember me, but you're so big now. Ah. Hello, and hello, cute baby. Oh. Aw, thank you. The last time I saw you, I think you were about her size. This is River. Say hi, River. He picks her... He picks up her tiny wrist and waves it around. River gurgles happily. <laughs> Are you babysitting? Oh. Nah, dude. River's my kid. Man, it has been a long time. Feels like one minute we're rolling up to exams with bad hangovers and the next were both fathers. Where you been, man? I was working out in California and I just relocated to business back to Maple Bay. No kidding. Man and I just moved to the side of town. How's Smashly doing? <laughs> oh. I mean, Ashley. Ashley is her name. I don't know. She actually still goes by Smashly and uh, we got divorced last year. Oh, dude. I'm so sorry. Oh. It's old news. We take turns taking care of River and the twins. It's all copacetic. Twins! You have three kids? Mm -hmm. Ain't life something, bro. Right? Keg Stan Greg is a father. Of three! <laughs> Keg Stan Craig? Oh. Oh, <laughs> yeah. It was my old college nickname. <laughs> She's in a wheelchair now from chronic sm smashling. Oh, God. He got it because he did a lot of kickstands. Oh. Is that the thing where you do a handstand on a... Oh, it's that thing you do... It's that thing where you do a handstand on a keg and then drink from the keg. Oh. Right. He was very good at it. <laughs> oh, bro, I hate to be that guy. But I'm in the middle of my daily jog and I really gotta keep up my heart rate. Brett River along for, you know, resistance training. You jog daily? Bubble. I jog yearly <laughs> on January 1st when I promise myself that I'm going to jog daily for the rest of the year, but give up after 30 minutes and just walk home. <laughs> oh. Well, it's never too late to get back into it, dude. You should join me sometime. Ha <laughs> ha. I don't know. <laughs> Come on. It'd be fun. We could grab breakfast afterwards. Catch up. We could do a bro brunch like the good old days. Like the good old days. All right, sure. Sounds great. Great. Let's get that going soon. I better get moving. Good to see you guys. Craig gives a little wave, puts his earbuds back in, and jogs off. I can't believe Craig is ripped and has kids. I'm reeling. Mm -hmm. Why's that? The Craig I knew is not fit to be responsible for any living thing, including and especially himself. One time, I watched him drink an entire jar of marinara sauce for dinner. Ugh. Amanda, he opened up a new jar of marinara sauce, and then he drank it like it was a thing that normal people do. <laughs> it was unholy. <laughs> and then I asked him what the hell he was doing, and he said, and I quote, It's basically a smoothie, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, technically, he's not wrong. He jogs! He was jogging! Uh. <laughs> He's like a totally different person. <laughs> anyway, we better get home. I'll have plenty of time to reflect on how old I feel later. So far, which dad do you like best? Uh, Brian. Yeah? Amanda and I flop down onto the couch. Amanda has to shove some empty boxes out of the way before she can sit. Huh. 
Too bad we're gonna be putting my stuff right back into these boxes.